Welcome back to the SketchUp for Architecture Students brought to you by the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland. In this video we're going to undertake a slightly more complicated uh, modelling task and we're going to look at um, inferences and how to think ahead and, and work with um, guidelines, um, parallel projections and so on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a series of roof trusses that are going to span across this way um, to give us um, a roof or a hat over our building here. Now I'm going to add a new layer, I'm going to call this roof structure. Hit the radio button there to make it active. Now I'm going to draw the uh, truss outline on the ground plane here. Now just you notice here up in the top there's a series of standard view positions that we can quickly scroll between. So here we've got the front view, side view, back view, isometric view and plan view. But you notice here as well it's a plan projection but it's still showing in perspective. This is kind of like a one point perspective here. If we wanted to have that in true orthographic we can go up to camera here and go to parallel perspective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly nip back to the isometric. I need to remind myself what the distance I'm spanning that truss. Now I can measure elements in my model using the tape measure tool. Click from that endpoint to the next endpoint and the value is brought up in that bottom dialog box 4.5 meters. So I'm going to pop back to my plan view and I'm going to start drawing the outline of my truss. So I'm going to start with going to do the truss in two halves, it's going to be symmetrical. So I'm going to start with the bottom chord which will be 2250 in length. Now SketchUp doesn't have um, intersection or trim functions so you need to think ahead a bit how we're going to uh, make a slightly more complex uh, geometry. So I'm going to set up some guidelines using the protractor tool. So it works similar to the rotate, you see a protractor on there. I'm going to start it from that corner there, get my bottom cord. Now my top cord of the truss I'm going to break at 30 degrees. So I'm going to put in 30 degrees, press enter. What you can see is that it gives me a guideline to work with. I'm also going to do the same for the vertical. Do that at 90 degrees. Oops. There we go. Okay. Now I'm also going to do some guidelines for the overhang. I'm going to have a plain plan overhang of 900 in length and I'm going to drop a point onto there so that I've got something to snap to. So I'm going to draw the top cord first. Now you can see with the guidelines that I've drawn it's given me some snap points that I can then start to work with. So I'm going to start here, draw along to that end point there and then I'm going to try you can see here and I'm going to hold that shift key there's a magenta um, I guess what they call inference point. Sometimes um, SketchUp can find very easily uh, lines that are parallel or perpendicular. It makes the drawing a lot easier and quicker. So it's found that there. Now I'm locking that by holding the shift key down and I'm going to type a value in so my top chord is going to be oops, 70 millimeters. There we go. Now you can see here I've got a magenta inference there, so I'm going to draw that all the way up until it hits that intersect point there. Then I'm going to just close that line through there. So that's my top cord. Now I've got a bit of a mess of construction lines through here. I'm just going to use my eraser just to clean that up a little bit. Brilliant. So I'm going to construct my bottom cord. So I'm going to come up here, 70 millimeters, enter, draw a line, and you can see the inference here is that it's projecting across the red axis. If I want to lock that, I'm holding my shift key down until it hits that cord there, and you can see it makes a closed shape, and then I can pop that line out. So I've got that shape through there. Now to complete this, I'm going to just make a shape down through here for the middle cord, draw a line down, just going to 
pop that surface out. I don't really want that there. Delete. Now, because I'm mirror rotating this, I'm going to make this middle cord half the width. So I'm going to go across here, 35 millimeters, enter, and then bring a cord up to intersect with that line there. Going to delete that surface, delete that line there, and delete that line there. So there we have the basic bones of a truss. Now I'm going to use the inference to find the midpoint along here. There it is, it's found it there to make a cord in that direction. Now it can get a little bit tricky because sometimes the inference for the perpendicular or the parallel is not super accurate um, and you can spend a lot of frustrating time trying to get SketchUp to figure out what it is you want to do. So I'm going to do this a slightly messy way. I'm just going to pull in a cord 35 millimeters there, 35 millimeters there. To give me some guidelines, I'm just going to pop out those surfaces. So you can see here, what I'm doing is just cleaning up the construction lines here. So I'm getting that magenta um, inference line through there, so I can just finish off those lines through there. I can nip off, oops, I need to do it on the other side as well. Finish off those lines to there, to there, so I can then nip off those construction lines to give me a clean truss form like that. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to triple click on this. I'm going to give it a bit of thickness. So 50 millimeters. Enter. Now I'll give it a material texture as well. I'll give it a, a Make sure I select it, lumber, flood that. Okay, I'll close that off. I'm going to select it all, triple click, and I'm going to mirror it using the rotate copy tool. So I'm going to find myself, I'm going to zoom in as close as I can to there. Now you can see that the protractor has um, stuck itself or inferred on the face through there. Found the midpoint. So I'm going to select that, start the rotation on the bottom, hold the control key down, bring it all the way through 180 degrees and finish that off. Now I'm going to nip off these joints here so that the fill is more consistent. I'm going to get rid of that construction line there and there we have our truss. So I'm going to triple click that, I'm going to turn it into a component call it roof rough roof truss create so there's our roof truss there now I'm going to place the roof truss onto my building through there I'm going to select it pick it up from this end point through there so I know exactly where I'm aiming to and I'm going to locate it through there. Now what I might do is I'll actually push this up because it's going to make it difficult to rotate. I can't quite see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to use my protractor tool to rotate this truss upwards. Now you can see it's actually a little bit tricky because I don't have a face for to align the protractor onto because I want it to come back towards me. Now I'm going to find a face that is the same alignment, so that's the red alignment there. Now to lock that alignment with the protractor, I'm going to hold my shift key down and then move my protractor so that I've got it in the right alignment. Select the bottom of it, select the start of the rotation, come around 90 degrees, enter. And there I have my truss sitting there. Now it's a little bit skew if here, so I'm going to 
move it across so that it sits nicely on that edge so there it is there there it is there nicely through there and I'm going to just make sure that I've got it on the inside face of that wall I'm going to pick it up from that end point and you can see that it's inferring to that face of the wall through there so I've positioned my truss on the inside face of that wall now I'm going to copy this truss across so there we go select it get the endpoint control move it across shift to hold down constrain it along that axis and then bring it to there going to put one truss in the middle so I'm going to find the midpoint of that truss control to make a copy shift to hold it to that axis and then I'm going to find the midpoint of the wall which it's found right there so I don't need to measure anymore so long as I'm inferring and moving parallel along the axis then it should all fit into place without me having to constantly try and figure out the dimension of things I'm going to make myself a guideline between these elements here I'm going to pick up that truss again make a copy pick it up from the middle find the middle there yes control shift to constrain it and then find that midpoint of the line there it is there I've got another truss there I can then delete that guideline and last but not least I'm going to select that truss there get my copy rotate I'm going to lock that face and then get the top of the that truss there my start angle going to turn it around make sure I've got the control key to get a copy type in 180 degrees enter and that should have rotated symmetrically that truss along there and there we have our roof truss set out on our project